Yo, what's up? Um, I wasn't even gonna tell you guys this, uh, but I did end up stop taking testosterone. Um, I think it's been two or three weeks now. Um, and I wasn't even like planning on. I wasn't even planning on stopping. It kind of just happened in a way because. And I just want to give a warning here, like, um, I'm going to be talking about some stuff. Let me just say that, um, uh, like sexual related stuff, basically. Um, so the reason why I really initially wanted to stop taking testosterone, I've been thinking about it for maybe, uh, I want to say it's been like two months, um, before I stopped, uh, I just was thinking about it here, thinking about it there, um, and the reason why I wanted to stop is because I basically, um, was struggling sexually, um, I think that's the right way to say it, basically my libido was gone, like, completely gone, and, um, it, it's, it was really strange to me because testosterone is just known to be, like, that hormone that is supposed to make you, your libido super, super high. And, um, it did for, it did for a long time, like, a few years. Like, it's like a normal, you know, a normal person highness, you know, not, like, crazy high or anything, but, like, a normal person. Um, whereas before I was on testosterone, I, like, didn't have any at all. Um... And so I guess that was like a nice, um, a nice change when I started taking testosterone, um, because I just want to be like a normal person and I want to have a libido, you know, uh, but, uh, too much before I stopped taking testosterone, I just like really was not feeling it, like literally no libido. And the thing is, I don't really mind not having a libido so much. Um, I've been trying for a long time to do no fap actually, and so it was kind of like a good thing, but it did get to a point for some reason, I guess us humans just kind of need to have a libido or something, you know, I'm not really having sex or anything like that, like at all, so, um, you know, just solo stuff, you know what I'm talking about, to go to sleep and whatnot, and sorry if, if it's too TMI, too, if it's TMI, um, but this is the truth. This is why I stopped taking testosterone. Um, and so I was thinking about that a lot. Uh, and when there was a snowstorm out here, I spoke about it in other, in other videos and whatnot. But when there was a snowstorm here, my testosterone was, like, frozen. And I thought about it a lot. I was like, I could, you know, put it in front of my heater. You know, I could, um, yeah, put it over my heater and, like, melt it down or whatever. And... Uh, wait till it cools down, and then I take the teeth shot, and I was already kind of at, like, a low point at that point, you know, um, and so I thought about it, I was like, I have been thinking about how this testosterone been fucking with me lately, and how I haven't been having a libido, and honestly, all in all, I've always kind of wanted to stop taking testosterone at some point, because I don't want to be reliant on anything, I don't want to be reliant on this drug, I don't want to have to do this every goddamn week, I don't like giving myself a fucking shot every week, so it was kind of all that together, I was like, maybe this is a good time to stop, you know, maybe this is a good time to just be done with it, and so I just didn't take my tea shot, and um, I was scared that maybe my facial hair would go away, or my voice would get higher, that's always a fear, I've stopped taking testosterone like, two other times for, like, a long period of time, I think the first time was, like, six months, the second time was, like, a year, and, um, I was always scared of that happening, but none of that happened, um, and even this time, nothing happened, I am always, I've always thought about just randomly stop taking testosterone, but the only thing holding me back is the periods, I do not want to bleed, I do not want to bleed, like, it's really, like, I, I can't do it, and I've thought a lot about going on, like, a birth control to, like, stop having, like, my period, but I'm scared that I'll, 
you know, because I can't take pills, so what other ways are there to take birth control? It's either going inside you or, like, inside your arm or something, and I just, it seems so invasive. I don't have health insurance, so it would be expensive. So it's just something I've been putting off, but this time I was like, what if I just, like, bled and, like, I dealt with it like a normal person, like a woman, you know? And so I ended up just not, I ended up just not taking that time. And then the next week I was like, let me just not take it again. And then, so today is actually my shot day, um, which is Mondays. And, um, I don't know. I, I, I have my tea box here with me and I'm thinking about taking it. Um, I do want to mention though. I, I still haven't really had any changes with the whole libido thing. Um, and so I'm thinking that just might be me, you know? But I guess I just have no libido, so with or without testosterone. And um, I'm just going to live with it. I'm going to um, I'm gonna be all right. It doesn't fucking matter. Like I said, I'm not, I mean, I'm dating people, but I never really enjoyed sex or anything like that. So it's, it's, it's a good thing, you know? It was kind of just like a, a functional bodily thing that I was doing at that point. But um, I am thinking I'm going to do this tee shot. I think I am going to do this tee shot. Although I'm not looking forward to it at all. I literally, I've been struggling. I really do hate it. And also, um, about nine months ago, I got a lot of testosterone. And um, I haven't been seeing a doctor i just been just taking how much i want to oh and i also wanted to mention two months ago i started taking 0.5 ml weekly when before i was doing 0.35 after i started feeling the whole libido thing i raised my testosterone dosage so maybe that fucked me up and now that i'm off it's just like still fucking me up so i don't know um yeah so i am running out of testosterone basically um and i think i'll have to somehow come up with a way to get more testosterone. So I think that's honestly really why I, another reason why I was wanting to back away from taking testosterone because I um, was like, uh, it's inevitable. I'm going to have to stop taking it soon if I don't go with one of these companies. I'm thinking I might go with Plume. It's like $100 a month for testosterone. Or I might go with Planned Parenthood, which would like initially cost me like 300 bucks. So... I just don't want to spend the money, and I, I think I'm just, like, a cheap-ass bitch, and, and also my face is how I want it to be, my body is how I want it to be. I don't think any more testosterone could really help, other than, like, look at my cheeks. I don't know if you can even see, but my cheeks have a little bit, they're, they're starting to grow hair up here, which is a big thing. So, I might just wait till my full cheek is covered in hair, and then just stop taking tea, and then get on birth control, I don't know. 2024 was supposed to be my year of going on health insurance, so that I can, um get a uh what is it called a hysterectomy so i don't have to bleed anymore so i can just be off tea but i keep on hearing about how most people when they get a hysterectomy they still have to take some some sort of hormone like either it's estrogen or testosterone and i just really don't want to do that i just don't want to rely on anything why can't i just live my life and like not have to take any type of medication i really hate that part of it um, so I'm just really struggling with that, honestly, but this testosterone shot, should I take it or should I not? I think I will take it, um, I think I will take it, but I know I'll be struggling, so I won't record it or anything, uh, but yeah, I thought I would just let you guys know, so I stopped taking testosterone for a couple of weeks, a few weeks, and, uh, I think I am gonna take it, um, let me take my shot, yeah, why not? Um, but yeah, I, I just, I'm going to try to come up with a solution on what I'm going to do about this because it's just always in the back of my mind. When am I going to stop taking testosterone? Should I just bite the bullet and pay for it? Should I pay for health insurance to get that hysterectomy? I feel like 2025 is going to be my year for my hysterectomy, honestly, because I looked at the health insurance and it's like literally bare minimum $300 bare minimum and that doesn't cover shit and i need to cover shit you know so anyways um that's it thanks for listening to my little rant um and i will see you later